We, we, we didn't do things very well today. We, the, the worst and positives, you know, the, I thought the fight that our offense showed there late in the game was good. Um, you know, we didn't throw the ball. I mean, Zach threw the ball well for a couple innings. A lot of people didn't know he broke his nose yesterday in the bullpen. Mm -hmm. Pitch with a broke nose today. Uh, but, you know, when, when things like that happen and where we are as pitching staff, you don't have a ton of, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he's like, I told him, I said, Bud, can you breathe? And he said, yeah, I said, you're going. <laughs> so, um, you know, we, we were trying to squeak out of him. I thought he was throwing the ball well. He, he did get a little weak there in the fourth. And, you know, credit them, man. They, they got off some good swings. And then, you know, the thing we got we to gotta clean up are, are the guys that came in after him. I mean, you, you, you got to be able to come in and execute pitches and shut it down. And we didn't do it. Um, you know, from that standpoint, though, getting back to our offense, you know, I challenged our team after that inning. I said, you know, don't, don't know how this is going to end. We're not going to hit the panic button, but we, we need that. We need to, you know, play the second half of the game with some pride uh, and see if we can out, you know, win the second half of the game. We did. Um, uh, you know, I thought, like I say, we, I thought our offense showed a lot of no fight and uh, our, a lot of fight and didn't quit. You know, they, they just kept coming. So, uh, you know, those are my initial thoughts on the game. And getting back to the, some of the issues you had with the relief pitching this year, I mean, I mean moving forward now, starting SEC tournament, actually, what is now the challenge for those guys to turn it around? Yeah, I mean, they got to come in and attack strike zone. You know, mm -hmm. it's all about belief and confidence and, uh, you know, trusting your stuff, trusting that, that you can come in and get the job done. Mm -hmm. um, Coach Johnson, hey, I'm writing a feature story on Fernando. So could you talk a little bit about – how he's contributed to the success, of the, the success of the team this season, and what you're looking for, what you're what you're looking for his role to be going into the SEC tournament. Yeah, I mean, just continue to lead. I mean, Fernando's been huge for our, you know, our whole team. I mean, he, anytime you're really good behind the plate, um, you you you're typically going to put yourself in a good position to win a lot of ball games. Uh, those guys typically need to be leaders, um, and you know he's done that. He's had a career year at the plate offensively. So, I mean, just like today, big hit right there in the eighth. He hit the off-gap double. Um, I mean, just veteran at bats, playing playing through some stuff. You know, he, here's a little insight. A lot of people didn't know when Henry Hunter got through, thrown out of the game, Fernando was on a table over there getting an IV because uh, he was sick. So we had to bring him back over, and suit him up, and, and play him yesterday. So he brings an element of toughness to us that uh, – you know, it's hard to talk about. So, he, he, yeah, I could talk about it for a long time. Ask you just kind of getting back to the kind of where we're at right now. Regular season is over. SEC tournament starts Tuesday. Um, when you get to this, this time of the year now, um, you just totally watch what happened, but regular oh, season yeah. move I mean, on yeah, or yeah, just you, what? You, yeah, I mean, boy, I tell you what, you, you better move on. You know, I mean, I got news for you. You know, we, we've got – as everybody is, everybody's to every place Tuesday is going to be behind the eight ball on the mound. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you win Tuesday, you're going to be behind the eight ball on the mound on Wednesday. Uh, your pitching typically, you know, obviously won't reset till Thursday. Um, or, you know, and, and you're, if you're in a position where you don't have to win those games, uh, you know, you got to be careful on how fast you do re <clears throat> reset your pitching based on, you know, what you got the next week. So, you know, don't know how things are going to play out. Obviously, you know, I, we're going to be in a regional somewhere. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you're putting yourself in the best position to, you know, be competitive game one of that mm -hmm. whenever, wherever that is. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll flush it up. We'll, we'll, we'll get after practice on Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll probably practice here and then go over there. You only get the field over there for a short, short amount of time, maybe an hour or so. And okay. uh, You can't get a lot done. We need to get some other stuff done. I, I need to – I need some pitchers to move around, do some stuff more than an hour. So mm -hmm. uh, we'll probably practice here, and then you know I we'll get to pick second our practice time. So we'll go later in the day, um, and uh, yeah, and, and then and then get after. But no, you you got hey, just like you flush the Kentucky, you got to flush them all, man. Mm -hmm. not, even when you win, you better flush it because mm -hmm. if not, then you know uh, you don't work as hard. Sometimes things like this. You know, you're able to draw back on and say, okay, hey, look, man, this is what happened when we lost a little belief, lost a little confidence, lost a little focus on the mound. Uh, like I said, I thought our offense was really good today. Charlie kind of described it as a wake-up call going into the SEC tournament. You kind of agree with that? Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah, I mean, you come in nine in a row, and uh, are you you win your ninth in a row on, heck, where are we at, Thursday? <laughs> and, you, you, you know, you just uh, – and then – 
I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, th I thought we, you know, we make a play here, make a play there, and we win yesterday. Uh, so th those things, like I say, um, good to just say, hey, we we can't roll out the balls and beat anybody. You better you better mm -hmm. play this game. Um, one more. Obviously, there's a mentality that's required to win. You know, week in, week in, and we got in the SEC. Just how is that compared to winning in the postseason? Something that obviously you were a part of last year. Yeah, well, you know, the, the thing about, and I think why the league typically does so well, it's going to be tough to find two guys. Man, I can go through more than just yesterday, right? But you look at what Peterson did on the mound yesterday, and then Neely right after. Well, they had a guy sandwiched in the middle for a short hiccup. And then Neely on the mound after that, I'll tell you what, it's going to be tough to find two guys uh, better than what you just saw right there. Uh, that, that, that guy yesterday, you go back and watch his video, he was executing four pitches in the strike zone with a mid to upper 90s fastball. And then Neely was running two seams in on the hands and throwing a mid to upper 80s slider and executing it. I, I, you don't see that a ton. And, and I can keep going, right? I mean, there's other guys we've seen in this league. You look at... And so I, th I think what this league does is it's almost like, can you just get to a regional? Uh, you go back and look, and we can talk about it for a long time, Ole Miss coming in with whatever 13 wins and then goes and wins the whole thing because, yeah, I mean, you're just so primed up in this league. I mean, you, it's tough, right? Yeah, there's a, there's, there's a handful of guys out there that are probably better than some of the stuff we've seen, but – Come on, man, Jack Caglione today. You, I mean, that guy's in the batter's box. You're going to see a better left-handed bat than that cat today? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, that guy's a monster. Uh, and, and I can go through other hitters, right? I mean, you, you look at A&M and what we did with their offense. We were able to hold them down at times. And uh, Lavalette and Montgomery. And, uh, uh, I mean, you know, I mean, we've seen the best offenses in the country. So it should give you a ton of confidence to be able to uh, take that and compete. And, and that's why, you know, the SEC tournament, you have to be careful if you don't have to win it right or win games to get in because you can you can catch yourself uh stretching guys too far and then you get back in and we're just so tired and beat up the next week you kind of feel that that effect